In this video, we are going to review the installation and configuration of SpecOps Password Notification. SpecOps Password Notification enables you to send email warnings to your users in the days approaching the expiration of their Active Directory password. At this point, we are going to assume you have already downloaded both the SpecOps Password Notification Setup Executable, as well as have received a license key. We're going to begin by running the executable on the server where we want to install password notification. This is a self-extracting zip that will put the installation files by default in ctemp. However, you may change the path to your liking. Once we hit OK, it will extract all of the sub files to that folder and run the spec up setup assistant. We will begin by clicking update license here to import our license. We'll point at that license file that I have on the desktop and we'll see the license details displayed in the setup wizard here. The location of this license file no longer matters. The key is stored now in the registry on this server. We will now proceed to click start installation, accept the license agreement, click through to server here. We will see that the setup wizard checks that we have met the prerequisites for the installation. The user running the install is a local administrator, and we are on a valid supported server operating system. We will select our service account. This is an Active Directory service account that we created prior to the start of this video. It has no special permissions in Active Directory. It is not a domain administrator or anything particularly elevated. It will need rights to view information about your users, such as when their password was last set and their email address. In most Active Directory environments, any authenticated user has access to view the required attributes. If you happen to have any fine-grained password policies in your domain, you will need to manually grant read access to those objects in AD. Once we click OK here with our username and password in, the wizard will validate those credentials. And now we move on to management level. Management level tells the password notification service at what OU level it should begin looking for users whose passwords are about to expire. This must be a single OU. We are not going to notify every user in this OU uh, based on this configuration. We will get granular with that in the group policy configuration later in this video. Uh, what we're doing here is we're simply choosing the highest level OU we need to encompass all of the user accounts that need to be notified for password expiration. This might be the root of your domain, that's okay if it is. However, you have a single top level OU that encompasses all your users, we would recommend you choose that here. We can select a preferred domain controller. However, in most environments, this step is not required. Password notification will choose a local domain controller on its own. Once we have everything filled in here, we can click install. It will install the server components along with the configurations specified here. We hit OK, we proceed to the administration tools. The administration tools consist only of a group policy snap-in that we'll see in a bit here in the video. There are no options for installation, just click install and the administration tools MSI will be installed on this server. At this point, we now have all components installed, so we may close the setup wizard and move on to the configuration portion. For this, we are going to go directly into the group policy management console that is in the Windows administrative tools. If you do not have the group policy management console installed on the server, you can install it via programs and features. We do support remote administration as well. However, we do require that both the password notification admin tools and the GPMC are on the same server. So it is easiest to do everything on the server where password notification is installed. Uh, we're going to go to the OU that includes the users, or any OU that includes the users where we want to start notifying. We can use that same OU that contains everybody. We can link further down the tree. We can filter this policy on a security group. Uh, all of these options are supported. Any way you would filter a user-based GPO and AD, password notification will follow that. We'll give our policy a name here. and then we will right click and edit the policy. We will navigate under user configuration to policies and then Windows settings. Below there, we will see the SpecOps password notification snap-in 
and we can click Create Configuration to begin setting the policy up. Okay, now within the Policy Editor, you will see we have three tabs down the left. The first is the email notification templates. This is where we configure when to send emails to the end users and what those emails should contain. The first section here is days. This is where we say the days on which the user should be emailed, working backwards from the date that their password is going to expire. These can be either single dates or ranges. Common configuration would be to start two weeks out. So on day 14, we'll send them an email. Add a comma to delimitate each range. We'll send another email on day seven. And then we'll send a daily email from days five through two. So this will send an email two weeks out, one week out, and then on days five, four, three, and two before the password expires. The sender address, sender display name, any email address that will work with your email server is acceptable. So you'll see here, just a little jump in the video while I put in the address and display name. You will see the two field. We have this percent mail percent placeholder. This will populate the user's email address as it is recorded on their Active Directory user account. So you may change that. You may add CCs, send this email wherever you like. Uh, you can also edit the subject and body. You'll notice there are placeholders in here. For example, percent total days left percent, percent password expiration time percent, where we will automatically fill in the corresponding values when the email is generated. If you would like to create another schedule, we, will, can, we can copy this existing config by hitting new copy. So we'll set this one to run on day one and we'll change the text up a little bit. Very common configuration will be to change the language to get the user's attention if they have been ignoring emails earlier in the schedule here. Moving forward to the date format field, um, when we do generate the time and date the password will expire, uh, we will localize that. The default here is to take the localization and time zone configured on this server. However, within these dropdowns, you can change these to match any desired region. Common example here might be if you have users spread across the globe, you may create different policies with different regionalized settings for the notifications going to those users. Final step here, SMTP configuration. We do need to specify a server name. Quick skip in the video as I populate that, plus a port number. You will see we do support integrated authentication using the service account that password notification is running as. We also support custom credentials if you'd like to use basic authentication or anonymous authentication to your mail server. So that is the configuration. We'll hit OK to save. We will see a summary of the configuration in the group policy. And at the next scheduled interval, the password notification server will scan every user that has this group policy applied, see when their password is about to expire, and notify them based on the schedule configured within this policy. This concludes the configuration of SpecOps password notification. Thank you for joining the video today, and we hope you find this tool helpful. If you would like to look at other spec up solutions that can improve your password management, I would suggest you also take a look at spec ops password policy. Spec ops password policy is an active directory password filter that can increase the strength of your passwords by blocking either known compromised or easily guessed passwords from use within your active directory as well as our password reset solution, otherwise known as U-Reset, which will enable users to reset their password via multi-factor authentication if they forget their password or get locked out from Active Directory. Thank you.